What's going on everybody? Kyle here with Myers Defense. Uh, I know it's been a while since I made a YouTube video. I've been really busy uh, starting my own training company and doing a bunch of other stuff. But <clears throat> I felt I needed to make a video on a new product I got from one of my sponsors, uh, Norso. Uh, many of you know that I shoot for Norso. I am their product tester. Uh, whenever they come out with a new product or a new slide, uh, they send me one, and I beat the crap out of it. I put thousands of rounds on it in a very short period of time. Um, one of the main things I do with the slide is the first day I take it out, I put a minimum of 2,000 rounds on it and just beat the crap out of it. Um, and then I just shoot it normally for the duration of the time. Uh, that I have it, uh, which could be forever, I, <laughs> um, but anyways, so I guess I can't really call this a review, uh, just my thoughts on it, and what I've had with the slide, the luck I've had with it, or not so luck, uh, just depends, um, and something that's changed is I no longer shoot Glock, uh, well I shoot them, but I don't carry Glock anymore. I switched to the CZ P10C. And that's what this video is about is Norso's aftermarket slide for the CZ P10C. Now, uh, all their slides are made in house. Um, so they take a solid block of stainless, mill it out, make it really cool, and <laughs> they make their own blanks and then they do their own designs on them so these are not blank slides that they got from somewhere else these aren't factory slides that they're just cutting up these are slides that they build in-house you know everything is done in-house on the milling part of it but anyways as if you guys know you see my videos or anything like that a lot of people know the reptile slide is by far my favorite slide when we were discussing um the cz p10c slide uh he asked me what design do i think we should do or should we come up with something completely new and of course my brain instantly before i could think just blurred out the reptile and uh time went on he ended up doing the reptile for me which made me incredibly happy because it's my favorite slide but anyways without further ado the cz p10c slide now if you guys follow me on instagram or facebook um you've already seen it, seen pictures of it seen i've shot the crap out of it um i have roughly 55 yeah 5500 to 6000 rounds on it uh i got a lot uh I don't really keep super track. I just keep track of how much ammo I buy. <laughs> and uh, I've shot this gun a lot in a very short period of time. And uh, in that time, I've shot other guns, of course, because, you know, I have other guns I still test for and play with and other products I, I test for other guns. But here lately, I've been focusing a lot on two guns, my 320 full size and my CZ P10C. Um, but anyways, this is about the CZ P10C. Now, if you've seen my videos, this is a just a reptile slide. Uh, this one is unfinished because it's the first one and, you know, I kind of like that look. Uh, but <laughs> anyways, um... I get asked a lot of questions about it, um, you know, how much different is it than the Glock Reptile versus, you know, this one, um, there's not a lot of difference, uh, there's a little bit more space here, just because of how the cuts are done, uh, and the shape of the CZ slide, but you still get your top serrations, you still get your cool window, 3D windows here, you still get the real aggressive serrations now uh, 
like here on my Gen 519. It's another reptile. Uh, on the CZ, they do not have the slanted and beveled. And I know I just flagged myself. They don't have this style serrations on the rear. They have a little bit wider, uh, a little bit deeper serrations in the factory CZ. If you can get your good purchase, you still get that good grip on there. Um, they're a huge improvement over the factory serrations, which there's nothing wrong with your factory serrations, but I like the reptile serrations a little bit better. They're, they give you a little bit more traction. Uh, of course, I love the top serrations for single hand operation, and granted, when you run an RMR, they're not as necessary, but when you don't run an RMR, that little bit of extra grip does help but anyways like I said I got between 5,500 and 6,000 rounds on this slide and I've just beat the crap out of it but let's let's go over some things that are a little bit different than what they do with your standard Glock slide that they do or anything like that they mill the armor just a smidge deeper which I like it a little I like it a lot better. Um, pull another gun off here. It's kind of hard to tell with this one, but I like how this one has got a little bit more of the window or the bottom edge of the window frame, I guess you'd call it, sitting up where this one is almost flush, which I really like it. I'm not a big RMR guy, but it just helps me get that dot a lot quicker. Um, and it could just be a me thing. I don't know. But <clears throat> it sits a little bit deeper, which I like. And uh, another thing they did was, or a question I get asked is, what sites am I running? Because it's not a factory CZ site. Uh, let's see if I got one here. I know I do somewhere. Uh, well, anyways, uh, the standard CZ style sight, it's real long, and it's got a different dovetail, how it sits up farther, then you can see this one. So what they did was they put a standard Glock dovetail in there, so this fits your standard Glock suppressor height sights, and then all you have to do is get a uh, CZ B10C front suppressor height sight um, and you're good to go uh, if you decide to run it with just the RMR cover plate you're still good to go with a Glock factory rear and CZ uh, front um, I put a uh, I had a <laughs> brain fart for a second I put a Dawson Precision front sight on this um, just regular height sight on this and I put a Dawson Precision Glock rear sight on here uh, I will say the Dawson Precision sight stuck out just a little bit but I just did it for testing purposes um, I want to see point of aim point of impact with that sight setup because they are two different sights but from the same company and uh, I didn't have an issue it was point of aim point of impact no problems there, um, which was awesome. So that's a, another good perk um, with this. So you don't have to worry about fi trying to find a specialized rear sight or anything like that. It's a factory or a standard Glock rear sight um, and just a standard CZ P10C front sight. Uh, and like I said, they cut the RMR a little bit deeper, but ultimately it's a reptile for my my new favorite striker fired handgun. Um, <laughs> if many of you know, I are in Glock for a long time. I'm still a big fan of Glock. Uh, not so much the Gen 5s, but I uh, still like my Glocks, but my CZ kind of took over. So, thanks for watching. There's my thoughts on CZ P10C slide. Um, I can't wait for my next one without the RMR cut. 
So if you're interested in an aftermarket slide for your CZP10C, they are on Norso's website as of right now. I highly doubt they will stay in stock for very long, so get them while you can. All right. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe.